Hi everybody, this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm live today. I thought I would do something a little different just for fun because I have to do it anyway. Excuse me as I roll my chair up. I have to start my camera up above me and I can't see once I start. So anyway, here we are. This is my crafting desk, my planner desk, whatever you want to call it. And this is where I do all my videos. Y'all recognize my little backdrop here and everything and my desk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, this is live. I've got... Uh, 16, 18 sets of three drawer acrylic drawers. Three. I've got like tons of them. I'm more behind me with different brands of washi. Today I'm going to do my Simply Gilded washies that I've been using in videos and that have just arrived the last two weeks because I threw them, I literally put them in here then I thought no I really need this for a video and you know how things go. So I've got all of my Simply Gilded stuff out I've already pulled out all the hollow drawers and the, the last four acrylic drawer sets over to my far left are where I have designated my holographic bows. Uh, bows. Holographic washi. It doesn't have to be bows. Um, anything that's holographic and simply gilded gets put in these those drawers over there. My reasoning, and it took me so long to figure out how I'm going to do all this. So you'll hear me thinking out loud possibly as I'm doing all this too. But um, usually when I do a plan with me video, I will pull either by color tape or by color foil. I prefer foil because not, not every color has every foil. You know, not all yellow washi tape has gold foil. Okay, so that, that helps me. It kind of immediately puts me in a category, the gold category. And I've said some of this before in my previous kind of Simply Gilded um, stuff. But uh, anyway, maybe I should just forget trying to talk and just put music over this. And I may do that. If I do, you'll know that I got real fumbly with my words. But I am going to go ahead and try it. Um, as I start, let me just say, this is a sticker kit. This is... All the stuff that I have gotten from two releases, I think there's one sub box plus the additional add-on, all in here, sitting out, and what you are looking at right now is as of, today is June the 4th, 2020, and the previous release that has been coming out and and slowly shipping out and all that has not yet arrived. So I'm waiting for one more late May small release. I think it was the one with the neons in it. I did not, however, purchase the neons. I don't see that as being part of what I would need. But I did get some of the rainbow stuff that was in that particular release. So let's talk about what I'm doing. First of all, I'm going to do the holographic tapes. And what that's really going to do... No, 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 no. Let's put these up first because they're sitting out here. Huh, Cindy? Um, these are all sitting out and I have had these everywhere in my room. This is the kit that I just did. I used the Simply Gilded May sub box sticker kit in the, the previous video right before... Nope, two before this one. Um, it was gorgeous. I thoroughly loved this kit. So if you want to see that, look it up. Uh, it'll be the one that was from the beginning of June. Um, I've also purchased, when she had um, the, re the releases, I guess, or the, was it double dip? I don't even remember. I also did double dip. I just now remembered that. But anyway, that's where a lot of this stuff is coming from. This is from the kit, the sub box. 
um, in those releases I had I ordered twice and so with each one I actually got the different uh, sampler freebies this is eight on the left and two right here I don't know what the others look like I've only seen these two online aren't they cute and look they're the rainbow things so I can add them to one of my rainbow kits that I have maybe and um, be able to do some really cute stuff with that I've got this oh this came in the the not peonies it was the dahlias hello doll young darling I can't really say it so I have some of the cards here and I ordered some extras of some of the kits I really liked y'all know me I love the rainbow stuff but I don't like mint but I loved this kit mint is not my favorite color it's more aqua color to me and I'm not an aqua fan um glad I'm not married to aquaman huh so anyway um I got some extra kits so y'all will be seeing these I have used them in the past and you may see them again in the future just because I, I love I thoroughly love these kits I love that she does rainbows that are so pastel too so I've got also some stickers and <laughs> have y'all done this ordered stickers just to get this this is the second time I've ordered stickers what really really clenched it for me though was all these bows look how scrumptious I am a total sucker for bows floppy bows anything fox and pip bows simply gilded bows and obviously rainbow and pastels so that's that's what I've got going here let me show you where I'm gonna put all this now I've got five let me pull out the second one here I have five binders um, from Walmart with um, top loading plastic envelopes I can't remember what those are called uh, that I store everything in from Simply Gilded and I have a little sticky on the side I made and so what I have done over my whole lifetime of collecting washi tape from Simply Gilded obviously is just put all of the cards in here and evidently I've got more of those than I thought I had so I've got two more of these that I can add in here and I know I don't have one of these already and I've got an open one right here I'm going to slide that into so those are the um, oh I can't remember what those are even called live video yes quote cards I don't remember I'm not going to try because I can't this is my bows and stickers binder so bows and stickers so not the kits and if bows come in a kit I leave it in the kit just because I want them all together and easy to find and even leftover kits I'm going to leave it that way too I know where to find them that way so let's see what I've got in here and here's my second I'm trying to get that so I can just open it I hope I'm in frame I'm doing it so different today so here's the last order I got and I have copies now I, I'm trying not to hoard but I'm terrible um, some of the stuff was leftovers in here from um, I want to say some of these were from the Christmas I'm not sure the boxes that were from Christmas or something anyway uh, maybe they're not I don't recall it seems like we got some of those in the Christmas thing so they were left over they came back out as a double dip maybe and so I picked up some of those uh, just so I could get that which I love 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 this is just so pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and add this group of stickers to that as well and I keep those in the first envelope you get to see that every time I open this up some of the extra stickers probably from the kits this one looks like it came in that uh, candy confetti kit maybe I don't know but if they're out and about I'll just stick them in here and then I have all of the bows that have come and that I've ordered on sheets 
by foil color. So these are the golds. Doesn't matter if it's light gold or whatever. If it's gold, I will put the stickers in that envelope. Um, sometimes the ones that come in your order, I'll stick in there. Generally, I put the ones that I have ordered on sheets in here by foil color. And then by the time I get all the way over to here, I have one of these little envelopes that the loose ones go in. And just because I'm lazy and don't want to go through that right now, um, that's kind of how I do those. Now that I have two freebie sets, I had an empty sheet up front. There's some more of those. Those might be the ones from Christmas, I think, in this particular envelope. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use that empty envelope right up here. It was after that. And I'm going to put the freebies in here. So now I know all my Simply Gilda stickers are all together. And I've actually got one of those binders, two of the quote cards. There, it's written right on it, right in front of me. Quote cards. Uh, two binders full of quote cards. And then these are the stickers and some of the extras. Um, like I said, I keep the bows. If it comes with a kit, I'll keep it together. So this was the last one. I'll add it to my collection. And let me look back real quick. I love that. I'm going to have to use that soon. This was another favorite. The first class, I also did a video with it. Oh, you know, every time I look at them, I'm like, oh, I need to get that one out and use it. I really liked this one, too. I'm trying to see where the ones that I just bought. There's one. I'm going to put it with it so that they'll be together. So did I use that one? Hmm, no, I did not use that one yet. So I'm going to have to remember I need to come back and do that. And then this was another favorite. I have already bought an extra one of that, this particular kit. So, not Sakura, Desert Dance. That was gorgeous. Oh, I love that. And so here, my very last spread in my old Erin Condren from 2020, February. <clears throat> Pardon me. I had used this kit and was like kicking myself because I had used it in an Erin Condren that I quit using. So I bought it again. And it looks like I've already bought it again, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. I can use it again. Oh, that's pretty too. Okay. I have way more kits than I have used. So I need to get busy and use those. Y'all are going to see that coming up, I hope. I hope I'm not going to be a hoarder. That must be inside. So there's that. <clears throat> and I'm sorry. I tend to be kind of choky kind of person. So I apologize for all of that. Okay, here's what I've got. My last video uh, that I did, I used a lot of these. I also plan in a B6 Traveler's Notebook. I carry a lot of stuff from down here in a bag and I carry it upstairs so that I can plan my B6 stuff in front of the television. And so when I come back downstairs, I just dump everything back out on my desk and here we are. And I've done that multiple times. Here, remember, if y'all have seen my videos, I have done a lot of hollow stuff with the purples and lavenders and stuff. It's still out. It's just still sitting here. And then all the new stuff that has come, and I'm going to have to reach, so I'm sorry, but everything's way up there. Uh, all the new stuff unopened that I have recently bought, um, it's all here. So next is sorting through everything I got and putting it kind of in some type of order so I can go ahead and start putting them up. One thing I noticed, and I had not noticed this before, and I don't know why, I, it just did not dawn on me as I was looking. There are two different styles of the yellow washi. One of them is the Tone on Tone that just came out in the May release, uh, along with like the pink 
on pink. Uh, there's the mint kind of stuff. And then there was the blue. And then she also, in this particular three layer, I'll call that three layer, she had the, um, it's in here somewhere, I'm sure. Maybe not. Uh, the purple one. It's, uh, what's the word she called it? Here's one right here. I can't think of what she called this particular purple. But I've decided on with all of the tone on tones, they're going to go in a drawer all by themselves. Um, the tone on tone ones are. This periwinkle. I believe she did a periwinkle. No, 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 she has not. I am wrong. It's because of the pattern that's the same. So tone on tones do not yet, I don't believe, do not yet have a um, periwinkle. So yes, that does go back into the um, the drawers with the holographic because that was holographic foil. Ooh, that was in my head to do that. So anyway, I'm going to be putting all of these together, the tone on tones, and separating out this one because it's a holographic gold. So what do I do? Gold or holographic? I wasn't sure what to do, so we will find out in a minute what I'm going to do. So I'm probably going to add music at this point because I know I'm getting a little chatty and that might not be fun for some of y'all. So I will go ahead and put some music on or, or silence, probably silence because I get annoyed with some music. I cannot figure out how to put the music on the right um, volume. So let me do that. I may even speed up this next part so that it's not so long and boring. But anyway, here we go.
and because I have a phone that is an Android um, piece of you know what it just cut me out I have no more memory until I erased about a 500 or 600 pictures and videos so it only gave me a few more percentage of memory I'm gonna just tell you what I did and I really hate my phone can we just all agree that Donnie hates her phone I apologize I ended up putting and I'll just come in for a close-up and show you what I finished over here the first two rows are the holographics then I have my silver in the next row all of these right here are silver including the bottom row here the top three drawers here are um, boy I can't remember what she calls those do y'all know what I'm talking about I'm sorry the glare is terrible let me see if I can move that up a little um, all three drawers of those are, are those not galaxy I sure want to say galaxy but I know that's not what they are anyway and remember the yellows that had the holographic gold well I decided to put them in this little drawer here along with some tapes that I just wanted to have out in front of my nose so that I would see them and be able to remember I had them and that I used recently a few of those here are the tone on tone all in that one drawer these down here are silver all these are silver but I kind of ran out of room and needed to start a new drawer and that's kind of why I had extra over here I may end up moving the rest of these hollows over all the way to move my silvers over a little bit give myself some more space then I have these two are full of gold foiled and I, I put usually all the way across the top the rolls that I think I will lose use the least and then down at the bottom the ones I use the second least or right front center the most usually this space has something on it and that space definitely has something on it so I try to keep those kind of the stuff I don't use as much so and I finished putting up all the rest of the gold foiled washi there added the few that I had extras I don't know if you'll remember that I was working on some stripes the second drawer on the right uh, down from the top has a bunch of stripes in it and I have extras of just the the bottom couple of rows here of where of stuff I just don't know what to do with these are some of the galaxy sets uh, a pink drawer the color um, uh, where the foils are all different colors on white background there the ones I use the very least way down here because they're kind of hard to get a hold of down there these remember the marbling ones she hasn't done those in a while tone on tone marbled Irene I need tone on tone marbled uh, the most recent set here and then that one that I used from the May um, hello darling that particular Dahlia glitter tape I set here because I just did not know where to put it so anyway that's kind of how all of this turned out I made this into the lace drawer uh, leopard is also in that drawer flowers I try to keep all the flowers depending on what foil color is in them all together and this is I'm gonna have to back my chair up a little bit this is my desk all that over there is just stuff I have to use for my videos and stuff but this is the desk uh, it is kind of messy still right now because all of my shelving has all the stuff that I usually put down here below uh, a lot of stuff down here and I am redoing let me see if I can get that thing out of the way I'm redoing up here I have my Erin Condren's uh, that I've used in the past over here my B6 inserts that I keep like I've got three years of those right over here uh, these are the Ara Estelle's this is the cashew the very lightest of the pinks and that's the pearl I don't have the blue one up there I might sell the blue one this is the simply gilded box that I just got and I'm gonna want to do something with that in my cloud so I have that there 
I had the Erin Condren binder and then a bunch of the Erin Condren boxes that came out last year for storage and they're chock full of stuff. In fact, I keep a lot of the Simply Gilded boxes inside of those. So this is what I have. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry if this was a choppy video. I did not want y'all looking at my arms. <laughs> just how I am. Anyway, y'all take care. I hope y'all have a fabulous week, the rest of the week. I'm going to try to get this up on the cloud and see if I can get it ready to go. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.